Comey on the hot seat, the former FBI director clamming up on Capitol Hill today, silenced by his attorneys while testifying behind closed doors. Here now is Congressman Daryl Issa, one of the lawmakers who questioned him today. He sits on the House Oversight Judiciary and Foreign Affairs Committee. Sir, I heard you say earlier today that his lawyers were sort of gleefully telling him not to answer questions. Well, I think, well, I think when it was specifically the FBI's lawyer. In other yeah. words, it's still the Department of Justice blocking justice if, it, if it's being done by the American people's representatives here in Congress. So what were the questions that you asked that he wouldn't answer? Well, uh, I want to be careful to keep, to keep the no specifics rule until the transcript comes out. But they clearly involve the general categories of Hillary Clinton and decisions there, Loretta Lynch and decisions there, and very much uh, uh, the FISA investigations. Those were some of the areas. The, the thing that, that uh, is creating a problem is, of course, everyone knew, including the FBI and the attorneys at the Department of Justice, what the questions were going to be. And so to surprise us by coming up with very broad prohibitions, uh, to be candid, uh, we could have just as easily not had the uh, Department of Justice in the room, stuck to the, uh, uh, the subpoena that Chairman Goodlatte uh, issued, and gotten past some of this. But they're now essentially forcing us to go to the Department of Justice, negotiate a lot more information being allowed, and bring Comey back, because he said an artificial, surprised us, but an artificial, I've got to leave at 415. Uh, and with these non-answers, clearly the American people are not getting the answers to questions they have. And if you notice today what, was, what came out from Judicial Watch and uh, the, the, the terrible violations of protocols that were done by the Department of Justice when they were looking, and the FBI, when they were looking at Hillary Clinton, it's very clear there are still problems there and the new attorney general's got a lot to fix. Well, so, I mean, if, if he's just going to evade no matter what, I mean, he needed specific terms, you guys did it, now you're saying you have to go back and renegotiate, seems like he would just have another surprise roadblock that he doesn't want to cooperate. So where do you go from there? I mean, what's the point of trying to do this again? Well, uh, first of all, getting the truth from American people is something you keep trying until you get it. Uh, let's remember that Comey was a man who came before Congress voluntarily and lied to us about his need to get a backdoor into Apple phones, millions of phones that he wanted to be able to essentially unlock and look at remotely. Uh, and, you know, he was later proved to have clearly not checked out how to unlock one phone from the San Bernardino killer. Uh, so this is a man who plays fast and loose with the truth and now is, is sitting behind a Department of Justice that is still stonewalling the American people. Well, but, he, you know, he's not in the position any longer. So what is the point of continuing down this path as opposed to trying to either go into the department, reform it, change who's there, change the rules around it? I mean, it seems like this path is not the most direct path in order to, you know, get to justice within the Justice Department. Well, you know, sometimes you have to go to each of the areas that need to be discovered or reformed. In this case, remember, we're still spending, we the American people are still spending millions of dollars every month investigating collusion, if you will. And by the way, that is clearly been understood is not a legal term. There is no such thing as collusion under the law. Comey couldn't answer uh, what collusion was because it's not a term that has a law attached to it. But the fact is that we're still spending that money. Uh, the special investigator is investigating based on, and these were a lot of our questions, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, based on this uh, false uh, narrative of the, uh, the, the so-called Steele dossier, which was an outright lie paid for by the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton. I, I so just, that, but, that is still going on. Mm -hmm. So he may be out. But the predicate, the false predicate, the lies told to a FISA judge to get it is still something the American people deserve more than just a promise that it won't happen in the future. People have to be held accountable for lying to a federal judge. And those people who lied to a federal judge knowingly, they are Department of Justice employees and FBI agents. I, I know one of the main questions was, what did you know before you went to the FISA court? Did he answer that question? No. All right. Congressman Issa, thank you.